Hello, this is a brief introduction to the FANUC Term AI conversational programming system used in conjunction with a touchscreen control. The Term AI system is so simple to use that an operator with no CNC experience at all will be producing components with only a few hours training. For example, if we want to enter a spindle speed, all we do is touch the screen where the speed is displayed. Enter the speed re required and save. Then the return key back to the main screen. If we need to enter a feed rate, touch the screen where the feed rate is displayed. Using the keypad enter the feed rate and press save. Then return to the main screen. To select a tool, select the tool area, the tool number required and press the index button. The tool is now indexed to the correct position. Then return back to the main screen. Now to set our datum, we'll move the tool to the workpiece, touch on the readout display, enter the figure that we require. Then the return back to the main screen. That's all our setting done now. Now we can write a simple program. The programming works using CAN cycles, which can be run individually or can be linked together to form a multi-tool program. The type of cycles that are available are basic parallel turning, radius turning, screw cutting including the thread repair cycle, grooving, facing, chamfering, paper turning, freeform programming up to 30 points, drilling and tapping. Once the operator selects a cycle, he will be prompted for information. When they are filled in the blanks, they press save and then the program is ready to run. I will now program an example. I'm going to turn a shaft of 20mm diameter by 35mm long and cut a thread with a 2mm pitch, 30mm long. In the X1 box, we'll type in the diameter we need to turn. The Z1 is the start position in our Z axis. X2 is the diameter of the bar we're using. and Z2 is our depth of our shoulder. D cut is the depth of each roughing pass. We use the second page, we're cutting a Z direction, roughing and finishing. Now we fill our finishing amount in. X, A and Z A is a start and end position. This is an optional figure. If we don't fill that out, the tool will start wherever it's been left and previously. Our third page, feed speed and tool. And then we press save. That's our basic turning cycle done. Now we need to produce our thread. We'll go to another cycle. We'll select, select a screw cutting cycle. An external cycle. So on the 20 millimeter thread, we'll start at zero. The parallel thread, so it'll be 20 millimeters end position. And we're going 30 millimeters long. Two millimeter pitch. The height of the thread is 1.25 millimetres and our first cut will be at 0.4 mil. In our second page we'll choose our method of screw cutting. The angle of the thread is 60 degrees and we'll cut in a Z minus direction given as a right hand thread. 
we want a left hand thread, we just go to Z plus. We'll leave 0.02 millimeters for a finished pass. And we'll select our tool, our spindle speed, direction, and then we'll save the program. That's all that's required to cut that shaft and produce the thread. Thank you for watching.